drinking coffee. It's my last coffee. It's only number two. I'm gonna have to buy more. Anyhow, my plan for this morning painting is I I want to brighten up the background behind here so these branches sort of jump. Uh, there's more contrast. And here I'm actually thinking of adding a tree that's actually bright coming up maybe this way with some shoots maybe coming off this way so it's almost like three three levels there's the this foreground of of this light tree then the then this background layer then there's going to be the back back layer and I still I think I want to fix up this a little bit but to start I'm going to start off with the easy thing which is going in here and brightening up I think yeah brightening up this tree line and maybe even bring the light of the, the brightness of the water higher just so I can get the contrast that'll look nice yeah and I already have my my nice palette prepared I got fresh water I got the brushes I want picked out I got all my extra paints just over here so that's well, maybe I'll do one more zoom two more zoom levels okay the last time I put I had paint down here and I squished up the whole this hole got all damaged because I uh, rested my arm on it. Okay, so let's start with getting a, I used some of a gun, some green. No, yeah, green. And I'm gonna get a lighter green, so I've got a couple here. This one's straight out of the box. Let's see how bright it is. It's more, more intense, but it's not brighter. So let's take some yellow. And see if I can just do a yellowy green. Yeah, this sometimes you have to punch out the paint a bit. You gotta mix it up because it's hard. And if you don't do it, what'll happen is you'll get while you're painting, some of the unmixed color will suddenly appear on there. And it's just you want smooth paint. That's the goal. Well, nice and smooth. Okay, let's just test this out. Better. It's a little bit better. But I, I think I want to really punch it out. So let's grab more yellow. Let's try this. Still not bright enough. So let's grab some white. Mix it in there, and that's going to really zap it up. I'm trying to mix it with that blue over there. Okay, let's just take that'll be much brighter. Yeah. Okay. So let's just let's just make this artificial, weird, crazy. Remember to put it back at the top as if that's what's reflecting. And if you look at Northern River, is it called Northern River? The painting by Tom Thompson. That's where I got the idea of these black lines. It's one of my favorite paintings of Tom Thompson. I think it Northern River, pretty sure it's called that. And this is beautiful the way he uh he observed the trees and the, the little shapes he made and um, and he he clump he had these black clumps. That's where these ideas are. Those are like the uh, like see those black things. Those are like the leaves of the trees, but they're in silhouette, so they're obviously very dark. Um, obviously, kind of had to make mine up, so they don't look as good as his. His look are just like masterful. Like all all the thin line. Like what he did so well was a thin line would just gently come down, and and they would have little jagged edges. And for me to do that, I need to I need to have better hand control, so I have to change the style of my painting a little bit. Right now, I'm still doing clumps, which I love to do, which is more of a Van Gogh kind of approach, which is it's rougher, it's more plopping down colors. Where his he probably um, he was definitely using turpentine 
And so his paint was thinner and he could apply it much more um, in a much more controlled fashion. So he'll have these beautiful thin lines, which I really admire. Um, but I'm just too lazy to go and prepare my stuff to do it. You know, it's, I just don't feel like, like I probably have to buy a new, a new brush that can handle that kind of stroke. And all my paints, I have to get an exact uh, consistency. And the other part is I don't want to do exactly what he's doing. Like I love the idea of what he created. It's beautiful, but I don't want to just, you know, take it straight out. Okay, so let's, so I'm hoping this is going to be a nice transition. I haven't really, I'm painting just the side. Someone's texting a lot. Let's see if I'll bring it. I might do a couple layers of colors because this might be too, um, what's it called? Monotonous, monotone. So once I have a nice color, I just want to go with it for a while till I run out. And then, um, and I can do layers of other colors. Maybe over here, I'll even add more real strong yellows. Maybe even oranges, actually. Oranges might be kind of nice up, up here. Like as if it's kind of fall a little bit. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give a little bit of a consistency to what's high and low okay i think that'll allow the trees to pop more now let's yeah let's do this let's take this add a bit of yellow to this kind of warm yeah uh, sorry add a bit of green to this warm yellow and it'll become a very it's almost like a it's green yellow Let's just get rid of that little hair. There's a hair. There we go. Is it still there? So that nice yellow now has, sorry, that nice green now has this yellow involved in it. So that's what I mean by the layers of colors. Hoping for the effect when I'm done this will be these com <coughs> complex lines will be easier to see. <coughs> Somebody really wants to text me, but guess what? <clears throat> busy
Now let's even bring some of this tan color of some kind. Let's just bring it in. Like what? Why not? A little bit of this tan. It's almost flesh tone. And um, maybe, maybe like a light brown. Wait, well, this color looks like it's. Come here, come on out. I know you're inside there. Okay, this is kind of a uh, light, like as if there's a tree of some kind on the other, on the other side. Maybe I'll do it over here where you can see it. Um, now let's introduce some orange. That's brown. I want orange. I kind of let's just see what happens when I use this color. Kind of a peach, sort of. Let's take a look at this step. Let's see if I made that come out a bit. Yeah, I guess I made it come out a bit. All right. Now, I think I might need to make this come out a bit too over here. Okay, well, just screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. Let's leave it. Um, now I'm going to uh, work on the, um, the water at the top. That's the coffee. Bring out this brush. Now this one, interestingly, I want like a different blue. Let's try. Ooh, it's almost like a purple. Um, okay, let's make a purpley blue. Let's just for the hell of it. Let's see what happens when I do that. Might be too purple. 
Yeah, that's too purple. So what's this blue? I just want a different blue than the one I have up there. Okay, because what I want to do is I want this water to be brighter. Oh, that is nice. That is a nice color. And uh, my goal here maybe even a little bit more white. I'll bring in that purple a little bit. Just for fun. Just because this is a nice color. No other reason. Yuck, I don't like that. I don't like this blue down there. I gotta fix that. Now we'll take this blue. Let's change it up a bit. Let's try uh, this. this blue
Yeah, I think that, that shows up in one. It shows up nicer. Um, I'm going to have to brighten up that part there to match it. Um, I'm going to fix this. This little section here is just not light at all. Come on. Don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. Make the uh, water streaks kind of curve with the branches a bit, like I don't know if I can see it. Yeah, like that. I'm gonna make them flatten out about here. And then a bit of bit of brightness. They need a bit of. Like, uh, what's it called? Just reflections from up at the top. <sighs> yeah, maybe they get brighter at the top as well. I don't know. Maybe it should be, I don't know. What the hell is this thing? Is this is, yeah, maybe it's just like a bit of a, something they can't quite see through. Yeah, this is like a bit of a, Bush or something. I don't know. Um, now let's play with that green at the top again. This is not bright enough up here. Oops. more bright you want to get brighter I'll get brighter Here's gets darker. And uh I don't like that red up in the clouds. It's too it's too strong red. It needs to be more of a yellow orange it's too 
it dried out darker than I want it to be. That's even too strong. It's just, I know what I need. I need some white. I don't. Oh, it's starting to be a bit of a joke on me. Yuck! Yuck, yuck, yuck. Now, okay, now, um, let's think about this. Let's think about. My original idea was to keep it. But I might, I might, uh, I might, um, blow my nose. I kind of feel like I want to do a, a tree. In the foreground, kind of like, hmm. It's going to be a pretty wonky tree. It's going to be pretty, 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 pretty wonky tree. Kind of like, like this, with like maybe a branch coming off. And it's not quite, it's like sort of contained in that little space. And then maybe there's like a little bit of foli foliage covering up like this. And then uh, branches coming down. <laughs> like that sort of like a I don't know what the hell kind of tree it is just let's just do like
So these would be like branches just coming off of it. Wait. And then it'd be kind of cool. Like branches, I don't even know. Falling all the way down. Maybe I'll have the branches come in front. And the idea is light would be hitting this tree. I need a bit of a of a foreground. I need a bit of a Okay, my mind's not working, but I still have the idea. Like <clears throat> okay, forget. Let's just let's just do Something where this tree is coming out of here. I don't know why it's red. Okay, stop texting me, whoever that is. I'm not interested in talking to you. Go away. I need to take a little break. Um, Yeah, I'm going to take a little break. I feel like I got, I know it was only short, but I, I wanted these things to come up more, and I did. I kind of feel like the colors are a little dull here. Like they're two just simple transitions, and um, I need to step back and think about the composition because I'm, I'm rushing this a bit. Like I, I, I like this idea of, of a foreground of something happening here, but I'm rushing it. So, And this is my last coffee. So I'm going to take a break. And I'm going to come back in a little bit, I think, maybe. <laughs> 